Good morning, Hilljack Nation. It is officially my winter shutdown, Christmas shutdown, whatever you want to call it. It's dark outside, as you can probably see there. Had a little rain this morning, but it's already stopped. But, uh, yeah, I'm headed to the farm to set traps. Uh, I got, I think it's eight days, nine days. I about nine, I think, if you count today. But I'm not going to catch anything today. So I'm going to have eight days to try to catch as many predators as I can. Uh, nest predators, fawn killers, however you want to say it, all of it. Coyotes, coons, skunks possums anything I can catch that uh, is hurting my turkey population or kills my fawns so anyway we're gonna give that a shot but uh, come along on this adventure I'll show you how I'm setting my traps and uh, why I'm setting traps there and uh, and then in the future videos we'll uh, see if I catch anything all right we'll see you at the farm all right y'all so what I'm doing now is just kind of waiting on this rain to go away. It's uh, just it's supposed to be gone in the next 20 minutes. So I'm just getting all my traps ready to go. You can see here in the barn. First thing I'll do is up here around the house, I'll set our barn in the house. I'll set some live traps. I've got the live traps ready to go. I think there's eight of them there. And then uh, I've got the bait that I'll be using right there for the live traps. I'll also probably take a little bit of, of the cat food to sprinkle in there also. And then uh, on the four wheeler, I've got all my poon cuffs right there. Some various baits. I've got uh, my drill for my auger. I've got a little bluegrass trapper that I got in the mail uh, from his giveaway. Got a little uh, Trapper J All Predator that I bought. So we're just, and then I got some urine and some long call lure uh, baits and stuff. Got some raccoon candy in there for the coon cuffs. And then back here, I've got all my foothold traps and a couple of ton of bears, 220s, that I might set on obvious traps for, or lanes where maybe skunks or possums are going through. Hope to catch some of that, but uh, just waiting on this rain. It's uh, like I said, the radar shows it's just about done. So as soon as it goes away, I'll uh, I'll hit it, and start setting these traps. I'll show you what I'm doing up here on the barn. Uh, on this back side, I'm going to put a couple of coon cuffs when I get those out. But uh, I wanted to set a little trap there. I often get uh, little possums and cats and shit, so maybe they might go in there. Not waste one of my big traps, put a small one that came free with a big one or whatever. Uh, so I got that there and then we'll drive around here. Show you a couple of them I've got in front of the barn where I, we see raccoons, skunks, everything. Cats, foxes, everything. So drive up here past the campers. Well, you'll see when you get to my truck right up here there's a trap set right there under the awning we get them there all the time I got a camera right there so hopefully if something lands in there I'll see it but uh, again you get all kinds of critters up here then over on this side in this little barn I don't know what lives in there, but Daisy always goes crazy. So I'm hoping possum, fox, whatever lives in there will uh, come out and uh, get caught in that life trap. And then we're going to drive right over here to my little orchard I've got going on. And I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a camera right over there on that tree pointing at this orchard. And I, everything walks this four-wheeler or this driveway. Uh, gray fox, red fox, raccoons, possums, skunks. I mean, I get everything on that camera right there. So I'm going to set one of my big live traps right there and then go over to the house. So over here by the house, I'll show you some kind of critters living underneath 
the little porch, concrete porch. So I've got a trap there. Grandma's bird feeders are right there. All kinds of critters are always under here trying to get it. So I've got a trap set right there, live trap. Again, I don't want to set any foothold traps uh, cause I don't want to catch any uh, dogs that don't belong to me. Uh, there's a house right over there next to grandma's through that thicket. They do have a couple little dogs, so I don't want to do that. So around this house, I'm setting live traps and then coon cuffs, but there's one there. I'll come back here in a minute and set some uh, coon cuffs in a few places, and then uh, we'll move on. All right, I'm just going to show you a couple here. All these dog proofs that I'm setting have uh, cat food and Trapper Jay's raccoon candy. So I've got two set on this stand. It's just a little shooting house we use basically for turkey hunting, sometimes gun, uh, deer hunting, but it's not very high. Uh, but uh, I feed corn on the other side of this. I got a camera on the other side. So the deer, everything used to come in there. So uh, I'm not going to be surprised if we were to have two here in a day or two. So anyway, all my sets, every set I'm doing, I got uh two up by the barn i got three around grandma's house got these two here i'm gonna put a couple more back in the woods on this side and then we'll go set some more all right we'll keep going I'll show you this area real quick before i set it it's an area where the deer kind of feel safe we don't hunt this property uh so we got a camera we got some uh, uh trophy rock usually a salt block yeah there's a little bit of salt block down in there still but i'm gonna set three traps around here because as you can see right there we caught a couple of them last year there i'm gonna set like three traps around here and see what we can come up with all right All right, another thing I wanted to show you is if y'all watch my creek trail cam videos, uh, the coons love to travel the creeks, coons, possums, everything, bobcats, coyotes, love to travel the creek. So I'm going to set three or four of these coon cuffs along the edge of the creek, see if I can get some, uh, some working. I don't have a good spot to anchor this one to. So it's not going to be in front of the camera unless the raccoon falls down here uh, below that cliff. But uh, anyway, yeah, we're going to, this is going to be one spot and I'm going to set uh, maybe three more down through here. All right, we'll uh, catch you later. All right, guys, I already got my coon cuffs all set. So what I'm doing now is uh, I've got my first coyote set. Got a travel corridor here. They love to travel along these field edges, uh, foxes, coyotes. Uh, we're not allowed to catch bobcats, so if I accidentally do that, I'm going to have to let it go. But uh, just a dirt hole set here. I got some Trapper J All Predator and some coyote long call lure down in there. I'm getting ready to put a little uh, uh, backing, urine backing on there. I got a uh, Duke trap buried right there. I think it's a 550 buried right there. And, uh, yeah, we'll just see how that goes tomorrow. I wanted to set the first one before I did one on video because uh, it's been a year since I've done it. So we'll do that on the next one. But I just wanted to get that set there and see if it brings anything in. All right, another thing I get on this particular camera right here is coyotes coming through here all the time. They run through here. They run up that trail. Uh, I've had them stop at both of these corners looking for something. So I'm going to put a couple of dirt hole sets in right here. Uh, i got plenty of backing and uh, dried dirt. It hasn't rained a whole lot. So we'll get these made up and uh, 
and show them to you and put two sets here and then maybe one up at the other end right up there. Alright, so I'm going to try to show you guys how I make these sets. I don't know how well you can see me because it's kind of misty, rainy. I don't know. I've already got it scooped out where I'm going to set my trap and I've got a dirt hole already drilled out. Uh, this is a little bit muddy, so I got some peat moss here. I'm going to mix in with some dirt to kind of mask the peat moss. Uh, it's a little muddy in this spot. So, uh, what I'm going to do is get me a trap bed here, scooped out here real good. You don't want your trap to move at all. So, you get that scraped out. And then, this is a Duke number two. Uh, I got a 550 over there. But uh, this is just a Duke number two. Uh, they're my favorite traps. They, they're small enough to uh, catch like a fox or whatever, but also they'll hold a coyote. Uh, well, at least that's what I've been told. I've never caught a coyote yet. I've never had one sprung by a coyote, so I don't know, but we're going with a number two here. Uh, I got a 550 I set first down at the other end of this little field, and then I got a 550 set behind me. Uh, but we're going to put the number two right here. And just drive this in. Get it in there real good. So that's anchored in there. Pull it out. Make sure it's solid. It is solid. All right. I'm going to rip this trap a little bit. Anyway, now get it set, maybe. Uh, three baits, Bluegrass Trapper, Dunlap's Hellfire, and Dunlap's Red Fox. On these two baits, or on these two holes, I had a horrible time uh, trying to get that set on camera, so I just didn't. But I got the sheath spool down there on top of all the bait and lure. Got that blended in there. Same thing over here. Exact same setup and lure there. So we'll just see. I already know I've got traffic here. I'm in here all the time. Uh, that camera gets them all the time. So uh, yeah, what we're doing here is just setting traffic. We know they travel these little lanes uh, between these uh, conservation grasses that we've got. So we set a couple traps and we're gonna see if they do anything. We'll check them in the morning. All right, so I'm trying to hide it as best you can. You can see there, there's a little trail goes right through there obviously not deer in there so whatever it is it's traveling through here so I put a little bit of dog food just to entice them and I've got a 220 there we're probably at least a half a mile from the closest house up here in the depths of of uh, our property so I'm gonna let that soak the whole week uh, and see if I catch anything uh, I've never caught anything in a 220. Have caught some, uh, caught a red fox and a skunk in a blind set that I set with a foothold. I never have caught in a 220 yet, but anyway, I've got that in there. And uh, hopefully I'll get some 220 action also. All right, guys. This is the fourth set that I've put here on this triangle, or this rectangle, sorry, of uh, conservation grasses. This one has uh, got Trapper J All Predator in there and then the one down there on the corner does too and then i've got two down here in front of this camera where i always see them and it has a uh, bluegrass trappers bait in there that i want in a giveaway so uh i think that's all i'm going to sit here unless i find another couple places uh to put 220s over on this other tree line but uh and then i'll go over to the other side of the road and uh, find a couple places to put some coyote traps in. So, anyway, hang with us. We're moving on. Even in the winter time, Mother Nature is beautiful. Just notice this holly tree with all the little red buds on it. Beautiful. Driving along here on the property. It doesn't matter what time of year you decide to get outside, folks. There's always some kind of beauty that God puts in front of you, whether it's cardinals, animals, plants something for every season anyway i just had to stop and show you all that let's get back to finding places to sit two points 
Uh, I don't know what's going through there, but that's an obvious trail that something's using uh, coming out of there. It's not deer, obviously, coming through that. So we're going to set a trap right there. And then I'm going to guess there's something coming out this other end, too. So I'm going to look real quick. Uh, not as obvious as I thought it was going to be on this end of it. Uh, got a critter trail here fairly obvious so this is where I had a blind set last year and caught the fox obviously something's still using it so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put a 220 up there at the beginning of that and I'm going to put a 220 right here and just see maybe we'll catch a fox and a 220 or a skunk or a possum who knows but we're going to give it a shot all right so what I've done here I'm right by the campers and I've put some stuff in, uh, live traps and a few DPs in the barn there. But, man, something's going in right there. And so, this is some sandstone that was in the basement of the old smokehouse here. So, what I've done is I've put in kind of a blind set right there coming in and out of there. But then I also put some of Bluegrass Trapper's bait and some sheep wool down in there. Uh, just to give it a look uh, in case something's coming by. It's not going in that hole. But uh, I may lose the bait because it's wide open over here. I don't know. I may throw something there. I, I, I don't know. Maybe find a limb or some wood or something to put there. But uh, just trying to be a little offset there in the actual path. But then also give them uh, some bait there to, to attract them in. So we'll see if that works. I've got most of my traps set. I'm going to... Go uh, gather SD cards here in a little bit. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show you that one there right here by the barn and campers. So, all right, we'll see what else we can get into before we leave. All right, this is that little field behind the barn that we turned kind of into a hunting shed. Uh, this little food plot did really good and I get all kinds of critters walking through here. So I made a dirt hole there. Got a camera on it in case we do some catching. Uh, but anyway, I think I've got uh, Trapper Jays all predator in that one. And then over here, in front of this other camera, I have another set over here. See them all the time running through here, like I said. So kind of already had a natural little funnel there. So again, this time, this one's got bluegrass trapper in it. Uh, Dunlap's long call and then some sheep's wool and coyote urine or fox urine So anyway, then I've got another one Up there and I don't remember what I put in it, but just to give them something different to look at All right, we're moving along guys Doing pretty good getting everything set uh, Checking cameras All that good stuff. So Hopefully tomorrow we'll have a catch all right, what's up guys? Uh, got all my traps set. Uh, I think there's two coyote traps I didn't get set. Uh, I just haven't really seen a lot of sign on that little field. Uh, uh, I got, I don't know, three or four coon cuffs out there. But uh, if I see something different on the videos uh, on the SD cards I just picked up, then I'll uh, maybe set some tomorrow. But Anyway, we've got them all set. Um, seven days to check. My brother-in-law will be here with me tomorrow, uh, Christmas Eve. So, I guess we'll see what we catch. But uh, until then, God bless y'all.